plethora of other incredible performances now has moved over to the akuma and has been putting bodies and bags with that character while order in going with the ken the tried and true character hasn't changed much in season two and has continued to be a, a success story they had two extremely close matches in their winners semis yeah both three to two down to the final situations very very close both of them made it through of course and speaking of Kobayan, I looked it up. Orarin beat Kobayan on his way wow. through. Kobayan oh. ends up at ninth, just outside of this top eight here. Man, I would have really liked to see that match because as a Ken player, I do not like fighting Gif. <laughs> it really puts a lot of fear in my heart just trying to play footsies with a character. So I would have loved to see how Orarin really kind of combated that and maneuvered around it. But of course, let's get into this one. It's going to be Orarin versus Kakaru. Winners, finals. So the winner of this gets that grand final side advantage. They're going to be guaranteed at least second place with all those points. That's one of my favorite Ken faces. I love the, it, the yeah. pullback. Yep. <laughs> the, ugh. Just one of my favorite things about the game. There's so much personality and it. it's totally unnecessary. Yeah. It, it's just for fun and it's great. We love stuff like that. Yeah, man. absolutely. Wow. Okay. Oh no. Well, you see what happened, Rose. <laughs> it's supposed to be something between that and the Tatsu and that just got disappeared. But again, to be able to parry against that fireball, it's just not that easy. It's so many different spaces or uh, speeds that he could do. Yeah, absolutely. Or a different fireball after all. Yeah, the, the timing, like, oh Again. my goodness Man, gracious. Man, if you could take away his ability to do a fireball, it'd be gigantic. This kills. Indeed it does. The optimal starter with the crouch fierce. My goodness. Yeah, let's do our run. He'd be flowing. Oh, oh. bait it out. Use Huge the true start. string. Yep. Damn. Great corner carry. Big damage. Ooh, the forward Looking forward for the easy hit confirm on that thing. Yeah. Well, speaking of Fierce, is Kakagru having to deal with all the wins now? So having seen these fireballs get parried, he's trying to play a little bit closer in that for medium kick range. And what I mean, blew right through. And again, he kills on the next hit. He does. Oh, the Hezzy gave him a time to wake up with something and they committed to throw. Oh, oh, oh he, he tried it. He, he did, did press the button, but he was pixels away. The double shimmy was successful. Nice DP. So that's what you sacrifice sometimes when you really go for that crouch medium punch is you get speed, you get a disjointed hitbox, but it doesn't have that great a range. Like crouch medium kick definitely would have hit there. But nonetheless, the crouch medium punch has been working out for order in a lot. That was a killer game. Yeah, I really, really don't start to the winner's finals. Hey, dude, he is killing it. My goodness, sweep with punishes are extremely violent. The discipline right there, I love seeing it. Order in, not cracking in the face of pressure from Aguma. Even there, just really caught off guard more than anything else. Oh, but faded out. Finally cracked open, and Kakaru going to spill his guts on the pavement oh. with a huge kill. Didn't need a super at all. That's that big damage stuff we know Akuma's capable of. I love it. I'm glad Akuma dies quick and kills quick in this game. Yeah, That's how he, he should be. Uh, Sometimes you feel like both characters have 9,000 health the way he does damage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm. So much more about offense, much more about his own whiff punishes now. Yeah. Tucker's settling back down a little bit. Content to play the ground game. Now he's got a round of intel on order of Dude, the fireball parry rate is incredible. It is. He's, he's taking away one of the strongest options in the game, and Akuma fireball, so good, and just has not led to anything. Other than actually Kakaru getting hit. Yeah, honestly. Like, it's been negative. Yeah. So you can even right there, trying to bust out the OD, yeah. Like, he's like, if you're going to parry this one, you got to perfect parry it twice. Let the OD rip, finds the interrupt on Orin's own fireball. Got a tied up set real quick. Great response. So Orin trying to play a little bit further away, and he'd like to see more of those fireballs and perfect parry. And... Okay, here's a way. Mmm, the first Jinrai show. Remember, that's the guy that played just parry before. Yeah. Don't forget about that one. Oh, he tried to parry, but he was so low. Oh, yeah, big trouble. Will he try to get something else before what? the DI? I've never even seen that target combo. Oh, the little overhead guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legit looks like an overhead grows from his limb. Oh, yeah, it's pretty what? funky looking, yeah. Oh. 
So very nice job by already. Oh, he's got a new pick opportunity now. Right. Alive. Got the corner. Kakuru willing to press back right there, trying to protect his drive meter. It actually worked out super well. Mmm, let me get the Kona. Hey! Not quite there on the whip punish. Oh! Kakuru, it's still his turn. He took advantage. And that's a round where he tried to really get more out of the opponent's burnout than, you know, you need to, right? Like, yeah. he could have just gone for DI. He wanted more, but Ordering didn't escape. His defense was good. And yet, Kakuru still won. Oh, no. A little bit too short a range on that. Are going to get tossed further into the corner? Oh, my man. Kakuru trying to set up him. Hey, backed off to just the right spot. He that, will get the burn. Indeed, indeed. Level two full one bar drive gauge burn. Uh, damn, meaty charge fireball. Dude, super fireball. meaty. Oh. I like that kind of using the parry OS right there. Oh, but that's why Orderin did that. That was so smart. Wow. Yeah, using the parry OS to parry the low Jinrai follow-up and then dry rush if nothing happens, using the overhead to actually blow that timing up and get the round victory off of it. Genius. Actually genius. The old classic two-touch against Takuma right there. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's the price you pay as the Akuma player. You got all these options, and you got to be right about them. That's what, yeah, that's what I like to see. Oh, cool. my. The perfect carry this time from Kakaru. And what a pickup that was. Super cool. Corner carry and corner in busts out for the first time in this winner's final. He did a higher percentage of health with that EXDP than Kakadu did with that sweet combo, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he did. Shout out to the perfect parry scale. Yeah, yeah. Mm, he's being so active right now with the buzz in the neutral. Yeah, has stopped. Now they see the Kakadu just punishing with the fireball from out the range. Yeah, there's those differences in spacing and timings that the fireballs can be bring out. So many perfect parries earlier. Now all these different speeds, spots, making it a lot difficult for ordering to get. Man, look at this. Look how slow they're both playing, though. Kakaru's just walking him down with the fireball, trying to push him to the corner. Oh, he got crouched fierce, and it wasn't in range. I don't know if that was intentional and he wanted it or if he wanted stand fierce. Either way, unfortunately, now Kakaru's got a significant life lead, and Orin is burnt out. OD fireball Ooh, again. Even that, that might have been inescapable. Yeah, once you block that first one, I think you're just yeah. lights out. Yeah, exactly. First fireball, OD fireball, another fireball to follow. As you saw, if he tried to jump out, he got hit exactly like what happened. Man, Kuma's fireball game is good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> OD and yeah, Orin hasn't tried to like counteract it with OD fireball too much. It did work out like the one time he tried it. But it's an expensive gambit. It's two yeah. bars, you know? Just walked through that time. Right back dash from Kakaru. Oh, and then snipes the legs. Mm, ah. Parry attempt as well thwarted. Uh -oh. oh, Mogan. Oh, oh dude, that was a lot. <laughs> that was so much drive gauge loss, match point, Kakaru. The burnout and chip out in the same sequence. Ooh, nice job. Yeah, it doesn't even need to be counter hit for that to link. Ken Privilege. Still there. Oh, yeah. Mm, light kick in response. You do to get a combo oh, on the counter. Did he not kill the right series? Okay. I think he could have. I think he could have too, but anyway, it all worked out with a perfect. Yeah. Yeah, would have might have had to spit level two for it. But yeah, I think so. Could have got the kill. Nice block on the low. That expensive game, but you see that a lot, especially out of Japan. Now Kakaru. He knows he has a big resource advantage. Yeah, honestly, he's content with making order in, just deal with all this. Goes into the level two as well. It's gonna be very close to burnout. How's he gonna follow this up? I feel like he wants it. Yeah. Drive oh. rushes in. The parry timing it got messed up. Maybe because of the screen freeze. Oh, you got got. Oh no. Kakaru. Seal the deal. Easily done. Match taken oh, cool. by Kakaru 3 to 1. And that was, keep in mind, ordering oh, yeah. that first game looked sick. He did. He looked like it was unstoppable at game number one. After that, very different story.
Kakadu, three in a row to take it. Yeah, great adjustment from Kakadu right there. Again, kind of understanding uh, when and where you can get away with certain things up against Ken, right? Again, we talked about how fragile Akuma is and how those growing pains of learning where you can kind of push the limits with the character are, are rough. And, you know, sometimes it takes a game or two of Intel in a set to really get comfortable. And we saw after that first game, Kakadu just really judged the ranges, mm. everything. That was so cool, man. Like, that immediate adjustment to the parry OS was probably my favorite thing in the set, even with him losing 3-1. to one. Yeah, this was a cool combo. That was a sick combo, <laughs> too, yeah. And then, yeah, the DP definitely did no oh. damage. Did he want Stand Fierce there? Or? Usually you want Stand Fierce. The Crouch Fierce is optimal if you can get it. So I can understand maybe he did actually go for that. Yeah. And there you go. Uh, yeah, the Adamant Flame extensions in the corner. Just ridiculous damage. Shaving off the opponent's life bar as Kakaru cruises into Grand Finals winner's side. Something he's starting to get accustomed to more and more lately. Of course, now we're going to drop down to loser semifinals where two of our remaining competitors